What up my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a standing rib roast, aka a prime rib. Without further ado, let's get started. And here's the star of our show, a four and a half pound standing rib roast, aka a prime rib. I got a really good deal on this. You can also go to your butcher to get this, but uh, I got it at the grocery store. So anyway, we're going to take this out a day in advance. And we are going to go ahead and cut those ribs away from the beef. This is going to serve two different purposes. One, if you're going to make a gravy out of those ribs, it's gone. I'm not going to do that. The other purpose is if you're going to go cut this when it's cooked, this is going to be much easier to cut later because you've already deboned your ribs. Now that we've deboned our ribs, we're going to go ahead and rebone them by tying it together with some string or, you know, butcher's twine. Just put a little bit in between each rib, nothing special. Then we're going to go ahead and rub this down with salt. Don't worry, I use a lot more than this. You just want to go ahead and coat every area with this. Be kind of generous because this is a large cut of meat. And this process is called dry brining. Essentially, we're going to put the salt on this, leave it in the fridge for at least 12 hours. And when we pull it out, it's going to look like this. This takes the moisture away from the meat surface and it's going to give us a much more flavorful cut. Next, take some room temperature butter that has been softened and put it in your sauce bowl. Add some pepper, salt, some smoked paprika, some cayenne powder, and then some garlic powder to this butter. And then we're just going to take a fork and we're just going to mix this all together until it's completely combined. Now we're going to move on to our optional horseradish sauce. And I say optional, but really, I think this is a must because I cannot have prime rib without horseradish sauce. I'm going to take a half cup of sour cream, add a tablespoon of stone ground mustard or whole mustard, add two tablespoons of mayonnaise, add some salt, pepper, and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then two teaspoons of horseradish sauce, to which we're going to take all this and combine it and then set it in our fridge while our meat cooks. Next we're going to take our standing rib roast and we're just going to rub it down with that compound butter we made before. And we're really just going to keep coating this thing until we're out of butter, making sure that we get this whole thing completely covered. You may think this is too much butter, but I can assure you that it is not. You want this thing buttery. And once our oven is preheated to 500 degrees, we're going to stick our roast in the oven, making sure it's on one of these trays and racks like so, so we have proper air circulation. And we're going to let this cook for 15 minutes. For we immediately turn down the heat after this plays the song of its people down to 325 or 350 and then we're going to cook it for 14 to 15 minutes per pound of your rib roast or until you hit an internal temperature in the medius part of 115 to 120 mine's perfect here at 120 and then we're going to take it meat and we're going to go ahead and put it in an aluminum foil tent for 15 minutes so that this meat keeps on cooking and then we're going to go ahead and uncover it. And we're going to cut that string off. And then separate our meat from the bones and put it on a nice uh, cutting board. And then we're going to take all these drippings and put them into a pan because we're going to make a nice au jus with this. So go ahead and heat up your pan with your drippings. And while that's heating up, we're going to go ahead and slice open our meat. And as you can see, it's a perfect medium rare. It has a nice color to it. I probably would have gotten more 118 if I caught it a little bit earlier, but this is perfectly fine for me. Oh yeah, look at that. And don't forget about those ribs. Add one tablespoon of flour to this. I'm using gluten-free. Reduce it down a little bit until it's incorporated, and then we're going to add some beef bone broth, about a cup, and reduce it further. And that's it. You have a really tasty au jus. I'm going to serve this with green beans and mashed potatoes. My wife is getting the au jus sauce. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that horseradish sauce on mine. And now let's get a taste test. All right, I almost forgot, guys. Taste test, real quick. Look at that. I don't have the light on me, so it's perfectly and rare. I got the horseradish sauce on there. It just melts in your mouth. It, it is fantastic. The au jus on the potatoes and on the meat is great too. And the green beans are green beans. I, I love green beans, so not much to say. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> I gotta eat. And there you have it, folks. A standing rib roast, aka okay, prime rib. That'll satisfy anybody at any gathering. It's delicious. Please try this one. But anyway, 
If you could comment, like, subscribe, it really helps me out, helps the channel grow. Let me know which one you want me to cook next, and as always, toodles.